Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Big Dunge Show. Today, we're going to be recapping week eight of the NFL season. Just a reminder to like my YouTube, my Instagram, my TikTok, all named Big Dunge. Let's get right into this. So week eight already, unbelievable already. Don't have my Steeler hat on because, well, we lost. Embarrassingly, of course, the same stuff every year, every year, every week. I should say every week. Either way. We still had a pretty good NFL season, NFL week this week. I was actually pretty happy with that as an overall football fan. As a Steeler fan, not so much. But let's start with the Thursday game. Not a bad game. Bills versus Buccaneers, 28-18. I'm sorry, 24-18. The Buccaneers did a lot better than expected. I thought they were going to go into this and lose by at least two touchdowns. They lost by six. Not that bad. Josh Allen, they'll leave it to him as a fantasy owner of Josh Allen. Leave it to him to turn the ball over at least once a game. It's getting really frustrating. He still had a pretty solid game. About 324 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. But he did have a rushing touchdown. Of course he does. 41 yards on the ground. James Cook was their leading rusher with 67 yards. Gabe Davis had a touchdown, and Dalton Kincaid had a touchdown. I picked him off off waivers for fantasy. Rookie tight end filling in for Dawson Knox. He's probably going to take that tight end one in the future, so I'm hoping he goes off again this week. But leave it to Josh Allen to turn the ball over like usual. Baker Mayfield had himself a pretty solid day. 237 yards, two touchdowns. Rashad White was the leading rusher with 39 yards. Chris Godwin and Mike Evans had a touchdown. Mike Evans, the most consistent and one of the most underrated wide receivers in the league. That's hands down. That's just a fact in my opinion. If I could pick, if I built my perfect wide receiver, if I was to pick consistency, it would be Mike Evans for that spot. It's unbelievable how consistent he is. He's going to be on pace for another 1,000-yard season. He never had a season where he was below 1,000 yards. He's been in the league almost 8 to 9 to maybe 10 years now. He's been in for a while, and he never had a season under 1,000 yards. Unbelievable. Bills are 5-3, and three, Buccaneers 3-4. Three and four. Buccaneers, though, the AFC, uh, NFC South, that's anybody's division, right, besides the Panthers. But it's the Saints, Falcons, and Buccaneers. It's up there. It's, it's probably the worst division in football. But it's close. It's close. So let's look at the other games of the week. Let's start with my Steelers. Let's get that right out of the way. We hosted the Jacksonville Jaguars. We lost 20 to 10. Jaguars are a solid team. They're 6 and 2. We knew that. But the Steelers coming off the win last week against the Rams. We were 4 and 2. You know, we were trying to prove, okay, well, we had a pretty solid offense last week. Let's do it again this week. Because, you know, our offense is terrible, the worst offense in the league. And it just wasn't the case. First half was abysmal. Second half, you know, we started clicking. Mr. Trubisky threw a touchdown after Kenny Pickett went down. He might not play this Thursday. That's right. We're playing Thursday two days from now. So it wouldn't be smart to play Kenny Pickett. We're at home we're playing the Titans. It's just I wouldn't start Kenny Pickett. I'd rather have Mason Rudolph start, not Mitch. He threw 138 yards, a touchdown. Nice play even though that was mainly George Pickens, and two interceptions. I mean, what are you talking about? Kenny Pickett, though, he missed Deontay Johnson wide open in the end zone earlier in the game. I'm not sold on Kenny Pickett as a franchise quarterback, but he's our best option at quarterback. Just is what it is. <clears throat> Jalen Warren, our leading rusher. You see, this is embarrassing. Jalen Warren's a great player. Explosive. But our leading rusher was 19 yards. Like, that's embarrassing. Embarrassing. Let's look at the team stats, how many total yards we had. 261 total yards. That is embarrassing. We do not know how to use our players right. I'm not going to say we. I know how to use the players right. Mike Tomlin, that's right. Mike Tomlin and Matt Canada do not know how to use the offense right way. We have Najee Harris, a strong running back. He's not meant to be having 10-yard explosive plays anymore. He's just not. After that foot injury, after his rookie year, he's just not. It is what it is. We can still use him, right? We can still use him. He still has a place in our offense. Jalen Warren, an explosive running back, right? He has definitely potential in our offense. He could be basically the first running back on our team. He could be RB1 and split with Najee Harris, still split carries. Jalen Warren only had five carries. That can't be happening. Najee Harris had seven for 13. That's embarrassing. Mitch Trubisky, right, 18 yards rushing. He was second on our rushing leader. That's not good. We got to learn to use our running backs the right way. Have Jalen Warren start the series. All right, first and 10, you want to run a handoff, let it be it. Third and one, give it to Najee. Okay, first and 10, you just want to get some yards, as much yards as you could on a run play, give it to Jalen Warren. He's our guy for the explosive plays like that where you need a lot of yards. You just need one or two yards, you're on the goal line, 
give it to Najee. We got to learn to use that. But in all fairness, we're never in those positions. We can't even get to the one yard line ever on our offense. That's how bad it is. We have speed around the outside too. We do, of course, end your rounds, but they're so predictable. You know, they're coming, right? Calvin Austin, Calvin Austin, very fast receiver. Okay. Allen Robinson. I mean, I get it. He was not, he's, he's past his prime. He's not as good as he used to be. Zero receptions, zero yards. He he's barely been doing anything all season. Not really his fault. But we gotta get these guys going. We have the crew. We have, you know, the receivers. Deontay Johnson, eight receptions, eighty-five yards. Like I said, missed wide open. Lucky well, Harris did pretty good receiving, five receptions, forty-two yards. Connor Hayward filling in for Pat Frymuth, five receptions, twenty-four yards. George Pickens. This is another thing. George Pickens, one reception for twenty-two yards, and it ended up being a touchdown. We got to be targeting George Pickens. He should be getting five, five plus receptions a game. This is why I missed Antonio Brown. Alrighty. Antonio Brown was setting the record. I think he had the record for the most three games in a row with five plus receptions. But you got to get going like that. That's all I got to say. Jaguars, six and two. Steelers, four and three. Steelers got the Titans this week. Giants and Jets, sloppy game. Sloppy game went to overtime. 13 10. It was raining, a bunch of punts. Tyrod Taylor had eight yards. I'm going to say something now with everybody, with all these types of quarterbacks. Tyrod Taylor, Will Levis, Bajan of the Bears. I'm going to say that when I get to Will Levis. But anyway, they're not the answer like people say they are. Anyway, Saquon Barkley, 36 carries, 128 yards. So Saquon Barkley carrying the Giants offense. So for the Jets, Zach Wilson had 240 yards, one touchdown. He was showing great. He was showing that he had it. Zach Wilson, four carries, 25 yards, leading the rush here. Garrett Wilson had 100 yards, but Brees Hall did have a pretty solid receiving touchdown. But he had 12 carries for 17 yards. That can't be happening. Got to get going. They're definitely missing Aaron Rodgers. But Brees Hall did have six receptions, 76 yards, and one touchdown. So Jets, they have a winning record, four and three. If they can make playoffs and somehow Aaron Rodgers comes out of nowhere with his Achilles, they could be a solid team. They're just a quarterback away. I get it. Zach Wilson's doing what he could. And there's other problems on the Jets, but Aaron Rodgers, the energy died when Aaron Rodgers went down. I felt like the Jets could, be, could have been a, such a great team, but the energy died with Aaron Rodgers going down. New York Jets, I'm sorry, New York Giants, two and six. That's just a, an embarrassing, embarrassing team by both of them, really. Either way, Eagles, close game with the Commanders. Commanders always give the Eagles a tough, tough game. They ended their streak last year. They had a solid game against them the first time this year. Same thing this year. They did the push push and then doing a fake. DeAndre Swift. Of course, I was facing DeAndre Swift's fantasy. Either way, Eagles win 38 31, one of the best teams in the league. The Eagles are 7 1, Commanders 3 and 5. Sam Howell, though, I got to give it to him. I doubted him last year. I really did. 397 yards, four touchdowns, and one interception. Props to him, man. Props to him. Jalen Hurts picking it up, wasn't playing good this past couple of games. He had 319 yards, four touchdowns, but AJ Brown. 130 yards, two touchdowns. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Johan Dotson for the Commanders, 100 yards and a touchdown. Let's see how Terry McLaurin's been doing. I haven't been hearing him much. He did have a touchdown. Logan Thomas, Thomas had a touchdown. Jameson Crowder had a touchdown too. But, hey, shout out to Sam Howell, man. He's playing a lot better than I thought he would. Cowboys destroying the Rams, 43-20. Matt Stafford goes down. I think it's time for Matt Stafford to call quits, man. I, I just don't think he has it anymore. Injuries happen. 100%, I understand that. Not only him, but the Cooper Cup and just everybody around. But it's time. I mean, he just doesn't have any more. He had 162 yards, a touchdown, and interception. They go down with, like I said, a dumb injury. Dak Prescott playing good football, 304 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, Royce Freeman for the Rams had a touchdown. Let's see how Cooper Cup did because I know they be, they're trying to get him going. Yeah, four receptions, 24, 21 yards. Can't be happening. You got to get him active. I don't even know who's going to start for the Rams now. I don't even know, man. Cesar Bennett is dealing with issues. <clears throat> Carson Wentz, expect him to be playing football any minute now. Expect him to be on an NFL team any minute now. Vikings defeating the Packers 24-10. All I got to say is Vikings were rolling, and it's unfortunate to see Kirk be out for the season now. 274 yards, two touchdowns. Kirk Caddy was playing great football, playing like a Pro Bowl quarterback, a real Pro Bowl quarterback, not like a Tyler Huntley court, Pro Bowl quarterback. He was playing good football, playing good football. It's tragic to see, man. It really is. 
But Carson Wentz could be going to the Vikings. Carson Wentz could be going to the Rams. There's teams for Carson Wentz right now. Expect him to be on a team in the next couple of weeks. That's all I got to say. Falcons, Titans. All right, here we go now with the quarterbacks. Will Levis played some great football. 280, 238 yards, four touchdowns. DeAndre Hopkins, four receptions, 120 yards, three touchdowns. Derrick Henry, 101 yards rushing. Will Levis played some great football. Rookie year. Everyone was down on him. I was rooting for Will Levis. All righty. I was rooting for him. I knew he had it in him. Everyone was doubting him. Everyone was hitting him randomly. because That's just what people do nowadays. Goes in. First star in the beautiful uniforms. I love those uniforms, man. Four touchdowns. Making great throws. D-hop looking like a prime D-hop. Three touchdowns off four receptions. Come on now. 128 yards. Great to see. I love to see it, man. Everyone was doubting him. Everybody was hating him. But what I was saying earlier, okay, let's relax. Let's relax. We got to give these guys at least three weeks to really see if they're the answer or not. And I say this all the time. Last year and just in the prior years, we see, you know, starting quarterbacks who are shaky, right? They're haven't really proven themselves yet. They get hurt. They're out for a game. They get filled in with a guy who teams haven't really watched film on, don't know about, much about. That guy does good in their first start. We saw it last week with Badgett for the Bears. Okay, Division two quarterback, Justin Fields is down. Justin Fields is shaky. Not many people are sold on Justin Fields. Badgett goes in, wins the game, throws a touchdown. People are saying, well, he's the answer now. Overreactions. We saw it last year with the Jets when Zach Wilson went down. Mike White came in. Did amazing. Next week, did terrible. Everyone was saying, though, Mike White had that great game. He's the answer. He's the he's the answer in, in uh, New York. Zappy for the Patriots. Everyone was saying he was the answer. Next couple games, played like trash. Stidham for the Raiders. Played great. He's the answer. Played like trash. Same thing he did that with the Patriots. This year, okay, like I said with Badgen, Will Levis, four touchdowns. Let's relax. He's playing the Steelers' great defense in Pittsburgh this Thursday. I'm not going to expect him to have a great of the, of the game. If he does, hey, prove me wrong. That's great. I don't think he will, though. I really don't think he will. And I hope he doesn't because, well, I'm a Steelers fan. But we saw a badge this week, too. Okay? He was playing the Chargers in Los Angeles. Last, year, last week, he got the win. Had a touchdown, no interceptions, no turnovers. This week, 238 yards, two interceptions. Just like that, squashed. He's not the answer. He's trash. Everyone hates him. That's just how it is. Okay, that's just how it is in the NFL. People like to overreact. Tyrod Taylor and the Giants. Tyrod Taylor played pretty solid against the Bills. People are saying, well, hey, he's the answer. Played solid last week. Against the Commanders, they got the win. Everyone's saying Tyrod Taylor is the answer. Goes down injured. Well, he's not the answer anymore. Stop with the overreactions. Okay, you got to stop with the overreactions. No one's the answer until you win games, you solidify yourself, you're playing consistent. Nobody is the answer off one game. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. Quarterbacks, receivers, running backs, it is what it is. Let's go over to the Bears game, though. Two, two to six Bears, three and four Chargers. Chargers needed a big win. They won 30 to 13. Justin Herbert had himself a game because, well, he was kind of shaky, too. 298 yards, three touchdowns. Austin Eckler had a receiving touchdown. Let's do the Ravens Cardinals. Cardinals Ravens close game. Ravens 31 24. Josh Dobbs, two touchdowns, two interceptions. They said Josh Dobbs ain't starting next week. Even if, even if Kyler Murray doesn't play. Why? He's the best quarterback option behind Kyler Murray. Lamar Jackson, 157 yards, one touchdown. Gus Edwards, three rushing touchdowns. Good for him. Trey McBride, 95 yards, a touchdown. And Mari DiMarcado, 20 carries, 78 yards. Yeah, 78 yards. Broncos Chiefs, what an upset. Did not expect that. Broncos win 24-9. Patrick Mahomes was sick. 241 yards, two touchdowns. Wasn't a self. But great to see Russell Wilson playing like prime Russell Wilson, even though only 114 yards off 12 completions. Three touchdowns, however. Good for him. Jerry Judy had a touchdown. Travis Kelsey still doing good. Six receptions, 58 yards. Chiefs are 6-2. and two. Broncos straight five. Maybe they could turn around, but that was definitely a big win by them. Bengals. 
hurting the 49ers even more. 49ers lose three straight. They're five and three. Bengals four and three. Bengals won 31-17. Brock Purdy had a touchdown, two interceptions of 365 yards. He was their leading rusher with 57 yards. We're gonna see that with Christian McCaffrey, but Christian McCaffrey still had two touchdowns. If the 49ers were winning, okay, he'd be the MVP candidate. 149 yards receiving for George Kittle. Jamar Chase had a touchdown. Joe Mixon had a touchdown. Joe Burrow, 283 yards passing and three touchdowns. 49ers, they have a bye this week. I think they'll turn it around then. I think they'll be all right. Seahawks beating the Browns, 24-20. Still no Watson, though, for the Browns. But Phil Walker playing solid, 248 yards touchdown, but two interceptions. Cream Hunt had a touchdown. Geno Smith, 254 yards, two touchdowns, but two interceptions. Tyler Lockett, so underrated, like along with uh, Mike Evans, 81 yards and a touchdown. Panthers defeating the Texans. They get their first win of the season. 15-13, sloppy, of course. C.J. Stroud, only 140 yards. Bryce Young had 235 yards and a touchdown. Adam Thielen, eight receptions for 72 yards. Good for him, man. Let me tell you, he's playing good football. Adam Thielen is. He's playing like 2017. Adam, Adam Thielen, I'm great. I'm happy to see it. He'll be closing in on 1,000 yards receiving. Might make the Pro Bowl this year. Saints, 38-27 to the Colts. Saints, 4-4. Four four. Colts, 3-5. Gardner Minshew had two touchdowns. Interception, Derek Carr had two touchdowns. Taysom Hill, two touchdowns. One of the most athletic players in the league. That's all I got to say. Shaheed had a touchdown also. And then last, oh, second to last game, just of the day. I was good, kind of going a little out of order. Dolphins being the Patriots, 31-17. Can't stop Tyreek Hill. You cannot stop Tyreek Hill. He had, okay, Tyreek Hill had 112 yards and a touchdown. Jalen Waddle, 121 yards and a touchdown. Cedric Wilson, one yard reception for a touchdown. Raheem Mostert had a touchdown. Of course he did. Raheem Mostert, man, he's playing slow football. Mac Jones, 161 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Kendrick Bourne had a touchdown. Somebody was out for the season. I think it was Kendrick Bourne. Not good news. Dolphins, 6-2. and two. Patriots, 6-2. and two. I'm sorry, two and six. And then the last game of the night, of the day, of the week, Lions, Raiders, Lions 126 14. Lions were just a better team, obviously. Lions are six and two. Great to see. Jared Goff had 272 yards and one touchdown. But an interception, Jameer Gibbs, 152 yards and a touchdown. Amir Ross St. Brown had 108 yards. Jimmy G had 126 yards and one interception. Here's the problem, though, for the Raiders. Okay, here's the problem. Devontae Adams, one reception for 11 yards. That's a problem right there. You got to get out of there. Hunter Renfro, like a year ago or two years ago, I can't remember. Made the Pro Bowl. It was a receiver. It was doing great. So quiet now. I don't get it. Use him right. Josh McDaniel's problem. They should have never fired the interim head coach after Gruden. I forget his name. Maybe he went to the Packers, Seattle, something like that. But they should have never got rid of him. He was fine. Why did they, they made the playoffs with the – should have never got rid of him. Josh Jacobs, 61 yards and a touchdown. Well, everybody, that's all I have to say for Big Dunch Show. Grateful to do it. Always going to do it. Let me know what you guys think down below. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm on Guys Peace.